What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute since I have uploaded. I am super sorry. For those of you guys that have been following the channel, if you can't tell, we have a new location. I did move, uh, so it has been a little stressful to go through a few things here, but we are back. I'm going to get back to regular uploads, and we have a very exciting upload for you guys today. We're going to head over to the truck. That's not my truck. That's actually where I want to park. Maybe one day. But instead, we're parked across the street. Guys, we're going to do a cold start here. Let's get this video rolling. For those of you guys that aren't new to the channel, you should all be a little surprised and this is a new truck on the channel. That's right, the six liter, we still have it. Six liter's not going anywhere, guys. However, we now have a 2015 F-250 with a 6.7 power stroke. Super excited about this truck. However, there's some caveats to it because it hasn't all been very good. We already have a lot of stuff done to this truck. And after I shoot the intro to the new truck, we're actually gonna turn around and we're going to be doing an install video later today. So to go over the truck, we have a 2015 F-250. It's kind of funny for me to be able to shoot with the truck on and not have to scream at you guys. So that's kind of cool. But we have a 2015 F-250. Uh, I do believe it had the snow prep package on it. it came with the tiny wheels. Uh, these are only 33s. They look good on a stock uh, leaf spring truck, but they look tiny on this truck. Uh, I believe the snow prep uh, package does raise the front like an inch or so. Um, we got to get a new valence down here because that's all messed up. A few lights that haven't been out. This is, truck has been a whole debacle, guys. We're going to get into that at the end of the video. But uh, it's kind of a weird package. It's a Lariat. <clears throat> and I haven't seen a Lariat with the plastic running boards like this. Um, I do know that when you get the snow prep, you have to have the 18 inch wheels. You can't get the 20s. A lot of Lariats have 20s, but uh, I did look, try to look this up a little bit. So that's why I got 18s. Uh, we just put new tires on this because uh, the dealer and I have different opinions of what 60% tread life looks like. We're gonna show you those tires in a little bit. We are gonna go over everything with this truck. We're gonna go over features. We're gonna go with everything that's wrong with it too because there's some stuff that needs fixed. Now inside here, it's a little, little messy. I haven't gotten my detailing out. It didn't come with any mats. We got the Ford rubber mats front and rear. Only like 102 bucks or something like that. Really affordable. And uh, yeah, this is the inside. We got sunroof, heated and cooled seats. I'm super excited about heated and cooled seats, guys. You have no idea how excited I am about that. Uh, weird option for a Lariat to have the third uh, seat up front here, but I am loving it so far. It's kind of cool. It's, I like that it has that, and uh, it's kind of a rare option in these trucks. Typically, you have a center console in a Lariat. We have the power mirrors. And they also, uh, apparently the truck needs on for this function to work, so we'll <laughs> do that in a little bit. They're also power uh, telescoping as well. Again, it's a 250, guys, so. <clears throat> in the rear here, show you all this. I don't know if you can tell, they uh, tried spraying the, rear, the rusty rear leaf springs. That didn't work real well. But, uh, this, this is my favorite thing they did. They uh, just pushed this back in there, uh, but this was rusted all through. Um, yeah, this is the emergency brake cable. Who needs them? They're optional. And the funny thing is, that's not all we've had issues with, guys, uh, on this sale. I definitely got had by a dealer. Um, which very frustrating, but we're gonna put them on blast because they won't try to make anything right. So here are the tires. This is hysterical for the record. So there, I got three matching ones that look, I don't know if uh, that shows up. I don't count that as 60% tread at all. Um, mind you, none of them actually held air. And then they put this one on. They put this one on that has slightly better tread and this is what they took the pictures with uh, for the site. Now, I do have to say I don't believe this is 60% tread either. But if all the tires had come like this, 
Um, one, had they all been matching and not clearly them trying to lie, I'd have been cool with that. <clears throat> uh, full break job here because these were these were terrible. I'll insert video as to what these looked like because I took it when at the time I did breaks. But we have new uh, rotors, pads, and calipers up front, and I'm not convinced the rear doesn't need them yet. I took some video of this, but if you can tell, this is an oily POS under here because it also had an oil leak. That's really good to see. Uh, the vacuum pump was leaking, the lower oil pan um, was leaking and rusted. They wouldn't put the truck on a lift for me to really inspect everything. I Probably should have been one of my first warnings that they were up to something shady. They told me this truck was in perfect running condition when I drove out. I did drive like five hours to see it, so I kind of ended up, and I had to take a rental car out there because nobody was off to go out with me. So I will say I got had. Um, some of it's my fault. However, there's things this dealer did knowing I was coming from out of state that I'm sorry, you're just you're just liars at that point uh they there's like chips and stuff in here this was a work truck and certain stuff like paints chipping here they actually had like painted black to try to hide this chip so i couldn't really see it i think the other side's the one that really has has it pretty good at the front more chipping down here I like how they put these, uh, here we go, this is my favorite. It's chipping here and they painted it black so that it doesn't stand out. I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, uh, my project for today is going to be to tear into the whole front suspension. We're doing tie rod ends, drag link, all that stuff needs replaced. Um, there's a driving issue with the truck. It's not driving very nice. Let's get in it here. If anyone has ever towed, you will know how nice of a dumb feature that is. Instead of getting out and having to beat your mirrors out. <laughs> anyway, we need to get some uh, energy drinks for my projects today here. And uh, actually in like an hour and a half, I have to meet with my school teacher online. That's super fun uh, for my self-paced class I'm taking. It's going super well, guys. Now, as for the truck, um, you guys all know, well, you new guys don't, but most of you guys will know that I have a six liter that's highly modified. Um, and I want to compare it to this truck. And just like I did with the LML that was on the channel, and uh, you know, maybe we'll have a, maybe that'll pop back up on the channel in the near future as well. But this is the new channel for the truck. I'm super excited about it. I actually have a lot of plans for this truck. I have already started talking about making uh, some intercooler pipes and a full piping kit that leaves emissions intact. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that is in the beginning stages, but something cool. There's a lot of cool piping kits out there, but none of them leave emissions intact. And with the EPA coming down, uh, I think it'd be super cool to help develop a new set of intercooler pipes that leave the emissions intact. So those people that want better performance, yet don't want to have to worry about emission stuff, that is the goal. So guys, here's the whole dash. Got the touch screen here. Got this little compartment up here. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, another fun thing that doesn't work is the air coming out vents. Uh, I got to figure all that out. That I found once I got out there too. And uh, yeah, no, it's been fun. Now, the FX4 package, this is a super cool feature. If I pull out down here, this locks my, this electronically locks the rear diff. Push in, it turns off. It only locks like 20 miles an hour, but the FX4 package has some pretty cool stuff. Uh, it comes with integrated brake controller. We're gonna put uh, auxiliary switches in down here just because I like them. Uh, of course, uh, power outlets. Here's my exhaust brake. The exhaust brake and the transmission brake are two separate things. The tow haul up here does the transmission stuff. The exhaust brake is separate, but um, also another nice thing newer trucks come with, manual gear selector. A lot of people will put, I think BD makes a nice kit for the older trucks to have that. 
And uh, sometimes if you're towing a heavy load and you're under the turbo a little bit too much at a certain speed and you have a hill coming up, it's nice to be able to manually downshift and then go into what you need um, after that. So that is a nice feature. Coming in here, we got the little mini computer in here. We got fuel economy. Ignore that. I was kind of romping on it yesterday. And plus, again, we have some suspension stuff that's not working the way it's supposed to that could be affecting that trip. Uh, it's kind of cool. So on your trip now, it has how many miles, how the duration, gallons used, and your average fuel economy. We get two trips here. So thought that was kind of cool. Gauge mode, super lame. Uh, come on, Ford. And che Chevy was basically the same way. Oil and trans temp. Um, you know, they don't do anything. Here's a compass. I got a compass here. I got a compass over here. I think there's a compass someplace else, too. Truck apps. Here's my off... Uh, off-road screen with the FX4. It says when, see if you turn, it gives a degree of wheel turn. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then when you have it at zero, it does show that all wheels are all lined up. And it's got the tilt and stuff like that. That's kind of cool. Next screen, trailer stuff. Um, you can set your gain and everything. Haven't really messed with that much, but it's pretty cool. Once I hook up and tow, because there are some cool features to this, we'll go over that later. Settings, driver assist. I don't know what this, uh, rear sway controls on, good, good. So, information really doesn't have anything much going on in there. But, so yeah, this is the inside of the truck. Um, we have a, we actually have a regular power cord down here. I think that's super cool. Um, we got plenty of these 12 volt uh, power things. I think there's one, two, three, four. I think there's four in the truck I've found so far. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the truck, guys. Loving it so far. I am slightly frustrated with everything going on. Oh, here's a cool one. I still didn't take this fuse out. My four, my like running lights weren't working. Um, and I found out it's because they jammed the wrong fuse into a... Uh, micro fuse whatever the heck it's called the real tiny one well here these jobs are what's supposed to be in it they tried cramming this and it didn't work i didn't have those i didn't catch that till after like a week of owning the truck um so yeah you know super super dangerous to not have them in an all-black truck driving at night thanks thank you to the dealership uh and don't worry we're going to tag the dealership on instagram on this so they can see um, I believe they knew about this. I reached out to them uh, to try to give them the chance to make something right and come up with uh, something, but they, at the end of the day, they don't care. So, you know, a lot of used car dealerships are like that. And uh, the fact is to make this truck nice, uh, you know, there is no price deal here. To make this truck nice, I'm gonna spend more money fixing all the stuff that they let go on this than had I just bought a more expensive truck and not had any of these issues. and. I could be making better content for you guys. So we are gonna make content on all the fixes. I do have videos shot. Um, I just waited to release them until I was certain that there was going to be nothing that came of it. Uh, I always give people a chance to fix things first. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, they don't care about that. So uh, anyway, guys, here's the new truck. Um, I am loving it. These new trucks do have some power. We're gonna do a view that's not bitter, Jared, in the very near future talking about the truck. Um, and kind of what it's like owning one and everything and how I like it so far. So anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Lots of cool content coming in the near future. Uh, like I said, I already got some cool videos coming on how to fix all the stuff that they goofed up or uh, didn't give two craps about. So anyway, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, drop those comments down below. I'll see you in the next upload.